this video will be a product unboxing of the Rigol DS1054Z oscilloscope but first I'm going to tell you a few words about how I got this uh, oscilloscope basically at this time the scope is out of stock everywhere in the United States in Europe I searched everywhere and uh, nobody seems to have this uh, equipment in stock so unexpectedly I uh, contacted some uh, Romanian distributors for Rigo and to my surprise uh, one of them had a scope in, uh, in stock and ready for shipping so I ordered it and here it is there are plenty of reviews already for this scope and uh, I'm not going to do that uh, I'm just going to show you what you get inside the box when you order one of these scopes let's have a look inside get the mains IAC cable it's nice looks like good quality you get what looks like a manual and warranty information you get two sets of probes because uh, this is a four channel scope these are the RP2200 passive oscilloscope probes and you also get an USB cable and let's not forget the scope itself Now I just want to unpack this scope to see if everything is okay after shipping. As you can see it was uh, nicely packed with those uh, foam profiles making sure nothing can happen during shipping. looks really nice and it's quite a bit heavier than the uh, scope I previously owned and if you watched my first video you probably see seen me using the O1 SDS7102 which was an okay scope but the Rigol DS1054 is way better than that so I have the IC mains power Yeah, so as I was telling you, I uh, basically sold that O1 scope and got the Rigon instead for a small difference. And it was quite a, a good deal for me. First power on. Let's check the adjusting does it have adjusting tilting feet oh yeah it looks like on the first power on the scope just shows you information about the various uh, options and the amount of time left for the trial period for those options there are two main features for which I really wanted this particular scope the fact that it has uh, serial decoding options for protocols like UART, uh, I2C and then SPI buses and the fact that it has the variable intensity display which will be helpful in future projects so thank you for watching this unboxing and uh, you will be seeing this scope again in future projects